All right, so we are preparing chestnuts for roasting. Taking a, chest, a curved blade chestnut cutting knife versus a straight bladed knife. But if you do have just a straight knife and not a chestnut knife, this works just as well too. Um, you can very carefully just X the tip. And I, uh, being very careful to hold on firmly so it doesn't slip because they're, they're definitely firm. You don't want to get cut. You can just X the tip. That will actually fold back as it roasts. That's one way you can do it. Or you can cut a slash or an X. I, I like to be able to hang on to it tightly myself and just cut a big X in it like that. That works fine too. Um, you know, another method is to slash it um, and then there's other methods that you can go all the way around I have a rough time hanging on to it that way but you can also just do a slash like this you want to actually go deep enough that you get into the flush watch your fingers now they're ready for the oven go ahead, go ahead and do a couple more there again I like to um, sit it down and, and on its round side, hold it firmly, and then do a good X like this. This works for me. And it's ready to go. And it's actually quite fast, but you have a good firm hold on it. We've got a hot 350 to 375 oven waiting. And we're going to throw them in and roast them now at about anywhere from a small size like this, which is probably a pretty common size, maybe 15 minutes for this size. If you're fortunate enough to have some larger chestnuts like this, maybe even 25, 30 minutes. Um, it's important to, to taste one every once in a while um, and see just how soft they're becoming. This will start to peel back and it will expose the nut underneath, which would be a really pretty golden brown. If they're black or look moldy in any way, you should just discard it, and I think this one actually is. It has a cracked tip on it, and I can feel it. It feels very lightweight, so I'm going to not include that one in the batch. Um, and then we'll, once these are done, we'll actually peel these back. These are perfect for snacking or fresh eating. These are destined to become cream of chestnut soup and chestnut stuffing in the morning.